Hey everyone, I'm Selena for Who is Jesus Today? How's it going? I want to pick up a little bit from yesterday where I, I did a more in-depth uh, teaching on 1 Timothy, the second chapter. And I did uh, speak on the topic of women as teachers, as uh, teachers particularly uh, in the church pertaining to the things of God. And I'm not going to go through that aspect again, but I wanted to uh, highlight chapter, in, in this chapter, verses 13 and 14, that really stood out to me. And um, I want to ask a question too, do you feel like uh, this is some of the struggles that we have today as women and men from the fall, and the struggle for man to lead in authority, which is evident, and his God-given authority, and for women to come under submission of the uh, our leaders, our husbands, and you know what I mean, right? So, for Adam was formed first, then Eve. So Adam is formed first. Adam is the head. He is the leader. He it says here in uh, Timothy, this book, that he is the authority over the woman. He always was. That's how it was designed. And Adam was not deceived. So Adam was not deceived directly by the serpent. But the woman being deceived fell into transgression. Well, when the woman was deceived and fell into transgression, did not her husband Adam, he, he came along and joined her. Did he forfeit his God-given right of authority and leadership? And did the woman, the she, forfeit the protection and the covering of submission. Are we looking at some characteristics in um, Adam similar to an Ahab uh, a type of spirit where the man kind of just relinquishes his God-given right of authority and he just sits back and let the woman take over okay and we know that woman is Jezebel and I'm not really uh, referring to that uh, women who are not just submitting are uh, taking on this kind of, of spirit because that spirit of uh, Jezebel can be in both men and women. But what I'm saying is that Adam, the man, was given from the very beginning a role of leadership, authority. Let's speak about uh, husbands and wives since this uh, uh, chapter is referring to this in the uh, context, right, of of church and uh, the hierarchical uh, structure of of functioning in, in church between men and women. Adam was given the role to lead Eve, but Eve led Adam, didn't he? Or uh, didn't she? And so we have the fall. Are we still struggling today with the battles between? the genders of who is in charge and who's not and who is to follow. It's not about who is in charge or who is greater. Men are called to walk in God-given authority, but with that should come also godliness and integrity, right? To lead their households. It is wrong for a woman to come against the authority of a man However, there are times when men are feeling weak in their authority and they don't know how to really handle it the right way and there's too much pride to admit that weakness and so now this uh, place of authority is expressed like um, in control and dominance and control and dominance and abusive uh, power is a sign that that is a weak leader and that's not a confident a leader at all and so we have to address these issues in our relationships and the church and I, I feel that we can open up more on this uh, topic and not just really um, a center on should a woman open her mouth or not in church should she teach should she uh, be allowed to give a message uh, I believe we can go even further and deeper and see that what we are, are looking at in this a particular text is the Apostle Paul is addressing the issues of submission. 
who should be who has the authority to and who should be sub uh, submitting to a uh, submit doesn't mean you're being diminished or subordinate really it's supposed to be for our protection men are called to lead and to guide and to protect and so when they are walking in these roles in the love of God when they're walking in these roles and maturity then they know how to walk out in authority without implementing abusive power abusive power is a sign of weakness that's what that's how I see it okay and so I think that we can look into this a little further and say the Apostle Paul he is really uh, uh, pointing out something that is is really deep and very expansive um, in our society and in our Christian our, our churches and our homes and our relationships between men and women so let's maybe look into that a little more and see that um, Adam was given a responsibility but did he uh, uh, forfeit his uh, power and allow the woman to lead him and here we are here we are world right so I will be uh, a touching more into this as I myself open up more about a, a relationships between men and women and marriage and what is how we bless each other and how the man he blesses the woman when he walks in authority and the woman blesses the man when she uh, submits to to that authority in the Lord but we're not talking about control and abusive powers because that's not strength that's weakness and that's not how men are called to walk in authority we are to men are to love um, as as Christ loves the church that's how men are to love okay so that's it for now you can like and subscribe until next time Shalom